Welcome back everybody. This is our video solution to problem two from quiz five. And this problem we're kind of going the other way uh, from problem one. There we took a combination of unit step functions and built a piecewise defined function. Here we're going to take a piecewise defined function and write it as a combination of unit step functions. And then we're going to graph it. So uh, this is a reasonably simple piecewise defined function as all the uh, problems on this, this quiz are. It's just given as a bunch of constants. So we might actually call this a piecewise constant function. All right, so this is piecewise constant. Why? Well, it's not quite a constant function. You know that because it's not the same everywhere. However, it's broken up into these pieces and each piece is a constant function. So let's try graphing this. That seems to always be a pretty nice thing to do. And it looks like the special points, right, where the, the hinges of this piecewise function are gonna be at negative two. So let's see here, we get negative one and negative two. Uh, also at two, so let's see, one and two. Uh, also at five, so three, four, and he'll extend this just a little bit more, and there can be a five. All right, so it says that between negative infinity and negative two, we get the constant function negative five. Ah, so we need to go down here. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that'll be negative five. And so all the way up until we get to negative two. So let's move down a little bit. So I'm going to put a little open dot at negative 2, negative 5, because it's, you can see here, it's not quite defined as negative 5 when we get to negative 2. And then it's just a constant function, right, as we head off to the left. Now when you get to negative 2, it's going to jump all the way up to 3. So we go 1, 2, 3. And it's going to be a 3 starting at negative two, and so we'll put a closed dot, all the way until we get to positive two. So I'm gonna put an open dot over here. And let's see, we'll just jump that three up a little bit, and then we can connect with a straight line, because again, this is a constant function on this interval. All right, then when we get to, uh, oh, that should be a plus, okay, on the exam, and that, that was a plus, you didn't see that. There we go. So it's gonna go from two to five. So let's see, when we get to two, where does it go? It goes down to negative two. Ah, so there's negative two. And we're gonna jump down and all the way until we get to five. Fine, so we'll put a whole hole there and we connect straight line. And then when you get to five, it's going to jump back up to one. Okay, so here's one. We put a little closed dot and then it's gonna head off to infinity there. All right, so this is what g of t is going to look like. And so if we want to write this as a unit step function, so we always like to work these left to right. So g of t equals, and we notice it starts at negative 5. So we can actually just put negative 5 here. Right? That's, that's how it's been for all eternity. Right? It's been negative 5. But then something happens at negative 2. So what's going to happen? Well, it's going to go up. So let's put a plus, and we're going to have a u negative 2 of t. And what happens at negative 2? Well, it goes from 5 all, or negative 5 all the way up to 3, right? This was a 3. So that's a difference of 8. So we need to go up by 8. All right, now it's going to stay there until we get to 2. And then it's going to go down. So let me put a minus, and we're going to have a u2. Now how far is it going to go down? It's going to go down from 3 to negative 2, so that's a drop of 5. All right, it's going to stay there until we get to 5, so then it's going to go up, so we're going to do a plus, and we'll have a u5 of t, and how much does it go up? Well, it goes from negative 2 up to 1, and so it went up a total of 3, and then it stays there forever and ever and ever. All right, fantastic. So uh, we've been able to turn this piecewise function into a, uh, an expression that looks like a single right, function. It's, it's not broken up into pieces. It's, it's just a, a combination, right? A sum of a bunch of functions, um, each of which is defined right, over all t instead of just in these restricted domains. 
All right. All right. So next video, we're going to do this all starting from a graph and we'll be able to build piecewise and unit step functions.